Here's some electric erasing machines. Here's an old Dietzkin 3395. Here's a new old stock Alvin EE175. These were sold new up to about a couple years ago and they stopped making them. The maker for this Alvin was the same as the one for Kohenor. This is an old K&E which is the white and green. This is a no name brand. There's some made by Sovereign. There's some by Teledyne Post. All these have the same parts which means you can put this on this, this piece over on here uh, to take these apart. This is a clip that you have to put a screwdriver and really pry up. But once that's done uh, you have to rebend it back. They used to have these clips available, but to reuse it, you can put the clip back on here. The variants on here, you've got a plastic uh, chuck, and then there's a metal chuck. If you hold this fixed, you can unscrew the chuck. All the chucks are interchangeable. But the only thing that happens is if you drop one of these things, sometimes the they get noisy. You can move this back and forth, uh, and you unbind it a little bit. If you undo this, these two clips, you pull this off, you can get at the bearings. This one is held in a rubber sleeve. The one in here is kind of trapped. Once you undo the chuck, you can go ahead and put a screwdriver in there and uh, wick in some oil. The bearings almost never fail. You can put, put some oil on either end and kind of move it around and free it up. So it's the basic induction motor. These things run just about forever. But all these were made up to about a couple years ago and they stopped making them. There's gobs of these on eBay. Uh, things to look for if you buy one, sometimes the chuck can be broken where there's a piece missing off of it. The metal chucks seem to be a little bit more idiot proof. The rubber strips are basically almost impossible to find. You can use some from uh, a click eraser strip will pit in there. They're a little bit pricey. And all these in the United States are 120 volts, 60 hertz. And there's enough on eBay to last probably from now to eternity. This is a K&E one from the 70s. This is a new old stock one from a couple years ago. Alvin box. The K&E one's red with a white. These are old Dietzkin ones from about 20 years ago. All 5 watts. Half amp, 50 watts. That's at full load. I've only replaced the bearings on these once or twice. Generally you can go through there and uh, this bearing will come out real easy. This one kind of gets trapped by the motor mechanism. You got to undo the two screws on the motor and get, get it by the switch. I've been able just to take the chuck, chuck off and then get some oil past the uh, piece on the bearing, the shield, and once you do that it'll spin around. In a school environment sometimes these get dropped and these two things are not aligned so when you undo the clips you can move this around and all the noise will go away. So you got that there's no binding on the shaft because when this gets dropped sometimes it'll have a little bit of binding on it. 